So before we talk about the we talk about how to prepare for the aptitude test, let's first of all go through the recruitment process. It's very important because it's I feel that whatever stage you find yourself in this process, you know what next to expect. So the first thing is the submission of your application, which I believe you must have done by now. Um, when you submit your application, the next thing to expect is, or the next process after that, is the online assessment. So if you the assessors look at your application, they find it strong enough, they will send you an invitation to participate in an aptitude test. Okay. And that's the online assessment. So after the assessment online, there will be revision, there will be a review of the application. The application should be reviewed. So if you if you meet your standard, you will now be invited for the next process, which is the interview. So you're meeting some panelists for the interview. All right. So if you do well in the interview, you now receive a congratulation congratulatory message inviting you to come study program. So that is it. So first of for let's talk about the aptitude test because i believe we've mentioned how to in my former video i talked about how to apply for tips to applying many of us did that many of us watched the video thank you for watching the video most of us got the um, invitation i have got some emails i've got some messages on my messengers instagram so ask them for how to prepare for this basically i don't know questions that will be asked. I'm not amongst the people that ask the, that said the questions. Um, but there are some tips online that you can Google and find them online. So we are going to talk about how to prepare, how what sort of questions are being asked, how, how best to prepare for this aptitude test. All right. So guys, remember I advised us in, a, in my first video um, for us to keep checking our emails, keep looking on our Oriel portal to see and know when we are being invited for anything at all, whether interview or to participate in the aptitude test. Okay, so um, after before just before the interview, after you after the after this next process which they are in now, which is the aptitude test. If you are successful, there are three. Whether you are successful or not, there are um, um, about three different emails to expect. So the first one will be titled interview. The second one will be titled Shortlist Reserve. The third one will be titled Shortlist Unsuccessful. So the interview means that you've been selected to face the panel, the interview panel, which is a thumbs up for you. Congratulations for that, which I believe everyone watching this should get that one. Now, if you receive that, you should get ready for the interview. They will give you the date, the time, and it's going to be online, definitely. So the second one that you might get is the Shortlist Reserve. So this means that you will be invited for the interview. However, you are going to be in the, uh, let me use the word, second team or the reserve. Because sometimes, right, it's a good news. Don't feel bad about that. You still, you, you still get interviewed. So, but what it means is that um, if we've got, um, if they've got um, about, let's say, 100 slots to admit into the program, and then they've given out 100 um, invitations to these 100 people that successfully um, got these um, offers. And then about 10 of them turn it down or 10 of them says that they can't start this year or 10 of them give one excuse or the other, meaning that they won't be coming into the program this year. They want to fill the slots. So from these people that got this um, shortlist reserve, they will select the remaining 10 people to fill up this 100. So from so from these reserve pick, um, candidates that are successful after the interview, you will get selected from. Um, they will select from you guys and then fill up these hundred spaces. Okay, so it's still a good news. And the last one, which is not so wonderful, is when you receive a shortlist on success. It means that at this point you didn't meet the standard and um, you won't be going forward to the next process. But don't feel bad. I I always say, when they say um, when they send you such message, it doesn't mean that you are a failure. It doesn't mean that you will never get into the program. Try again next year. Trust me. Many people that got scholarships, many people that got into this program, they didn't just try once. Some people tried once, but as long as this is what you want, you're going to get it. Keep trying, okay? So let's go into how to prepare for the aptitude test or 
what to expect in the aptitude test. Let's talk about the STP aptitude test. So here, the candidates should be screened on two different categories, the numerical aptitude test and the logical aptitude test. They are both screening your mathematical and your comprehension skills and capabilities, okay? So here, um, the numerical aptitude test deals mainly on your mathematical literacy. Um, you'll be tested, you provided some charts, some tables, some graphs to interpret, to solve some mathematical questions and problems from. It's going to be the every every category. It's, it's a multi, multiple choice question. That's if you've got your questions, you, you have some questions and the answers, um, multiple answers in the, um, multiple options in the, and for each question, which you should choose the correct answer from. Um, it's, going to i mean from the site I'm, i'll be sharing the site where you can prepare um this aptitude test from it says it's difficult well i i am not expecting anything less of course because it's a, it's it's very competitive program so i mean for you to go in there they want to pick the best but i believe whoever that is watching this video is the best okay so i'll be sharing the sites where you guys can watch this from prepare yourself for this okay so the numerical aptitude test like i said they will be providing some charts tables graph where you solve some problems percentage problems okay so when you click on the tables or the graph you see some likely questions or some possible scenarios that will be provided for you yourself and these are not the questions that will be asked definitely but at least you have an idea of how to prepare what you are going to be seeing for the logical one you it it says it's nicknamed diagrammatic reasoning test so it, you you it's it's more like logical you know yes it, it's called logical aptitude test you know how to deal with some logics i mean uh, away from this test in, in in your workplace there are some things that you uh, not basically trained to, I mean, some daily life problems that come up in your workplace that you just need to use your own initiative and then sort it out. These are the things that basically they want to test how good you are with logics. Okay. Um, um, so basically this is it. So when you click on these ones, on these links, it takes you to the next, to what to prepare for, what to expect. Let's click on tables for instance so this is it so we've got these questions we've got these questions and the good thing is they give you the questions and then they give you the answers as well so for instance we've got um question number one here what is the average difference between male and female yearly earnings in new york city this is the question and we've got the answers down here all right and then it explains it for you as well that is very good um it's it doesn't give you so much questions like i said this is more like um it's a practice side it's not it's not it's not like a past questions that you have so many questions but if you keep if you still want to read more you can go on and pay for it because i think um if you keep i think if you click on this numerical one it takes you good yeah so it, it takes you to where you pay some amount of money which i feel is quite well well, well it, it depends i don't know i don't know if you feel if you feel you can pay this price and then go on and practice but what i'm saying in essence is we've got the free version of this we can always practice with this but if you still want to practice more you can pay this and then go on and practice okay Guys, let's talk about the interview. So finally, the final stage of this whole process is the interview. The interview will be sent out after the review of the applications. And if you are successful, if you meet their standard, you, you get this interview invitation, which I believe everyone watching this video will get. So there are different topics that will be covered during the interview. The first one or the first one that you should be expecting will be scientific understanding and knowledge of how science serves society you should understand this you should know how your field serves society if you are a biomedical scientist if you are 
if you are a nurse, if you are a radiologist, a radiographer, whatever field you are in, you should understand how that serves the society. You should also be expecting some technical questions relevant to your scientific field. I'll give you an example. Take, for instance, you are working in um, in ED, emergency department, maybe in a side lab there, or you are working in the blood, blood sciences, and then you are working in the um, transfusion department. And then they might ask you a question. You are the only one, you are the only scientist on duty, you are the only one in the lab, and then we have you are cross mashing blood for an accident victim, and then you are getting a call on the other end asking for results of a patient. What would you do? You know, so these are technical questions in your field. I mean, you should expect you should know what to prioritize at that instance. You should know that the cross match that you are doing is very, very important. You should prioritize that. However, you should as well do not <laughs> you 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 have a call on the other side asking for results. So what would you do in there? I'm I'm going to prioritize that cross machine. However, I will, of course you've you already answered the call. You're going to explain to the other person on the other end. Do not sound rude. Explain to them that you are the only person in the lab. You are the only person in the lab. You are actually cross machine blood and you're going to call them and give them the result of this patient immediately you have a chance to do that okay so these are technical questions that you can expect and there's loads of them i'm not saying they're going to ask you this one but i just gave you an instant so you should also be expecting some behavioral questions concerning values remember i said um i just talking about values remember always read about values of the trust we are applying for the trust wherever you're going to find yourself also try to you know marry your, your values with yes and and try to you know you know you know try to just just know their values okay get used to the values okay some other questions that you should be expecting during the interview there are lots of questions that you should be expecting i got these questions from the site i shared earlier um they may be asking the difference between a prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell they might be asking you what do you define or define an error they might be asking you distinguish between bacteria and virus uh, they will ask you do you always expect this particular one what makes you suitable for this job why do you think we should offer you a position in this program you should, you should get ready you expect this particular question even if they don't ask any other question expect this particular one because I mean, if I'm going to offer you this, I should know what, why you want to get this. I mean, you get, you get the point now. <laughs> yes. So expect it. Read, 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 go through the, go through the internet, scout, um, scout, search for, search for questions, possible questions, get interview questions. Okay. Get ready for this. I, I believe that you are going to be successful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate. I pray and hope that you are going to get this, get into this program and be the change that the world needs. The world needs you. Thank you so much. Remember, always subscribe. Subscribe, share, hit the like button and click on the notification bell. We are always happy seeing you doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Thank you.